Hey guys, it's Ruarcus here. Many of you may know me as the, the country music singer, the recording artist, the songwriter, the fellow who takes uh, adventure tours across to the US. And uh, many of you may know, some of you may not know, that I'm a cattle producer here on the southern tablelands of New South Wales in Australia. We're just west of Goulburn, a little place called Parksburn. Now, we have been preparing for this terrible, terrible drought that has hit all of New South Wales now and has been hitting many parts of Australia, including Queensland, for a long time now. Everything is just costing more and more and more, as it is for everybody. But, uh, you know, the expenses of just having a place here, just your day-to-day -day rates, all the applications that we have for the cattle, right down to the NLIS tags, uh, which is the... Uh, the electronic tags that they have for uh, keeping track of cattle and stock in, in Australia. Anyway, I, I want to sort of cut to the point here a bit. We are in a terrible, terrible drought. And, and, and uh, my wife and I had to make one of the hardest decisions that we've had to make during this time that we've been here and, uh, and in this business and running the family farm. And that was to sell a herd of cattle that we had... Uh, bred over many, many years. You know, you, you, you work for sometimes decades. Sometimes it takes generations of farmers to actually get to this, this sort of end product. Now, we I'm not saying that we had the best cattle in the world, but we had the best cattle that we could, uh, that we could breed in our time. And they were beautiful handling cattle. And they were easy carving cattle and uh, they knew us. We bred all those cattle here, every one of those cattle that we put on a truck um, last, uh, last Monday or so. That was our, that was cow, calves had just been born, you know, these beautiful looking calves. And uh, those cows and calves, we stuck on a truck and we waved goodbye to our, to our next year's income. Now, every April, we get, we get one paycheck a year off this place. And that's for us generally in late March or April. We've basically spent all of the money that we had from this year's income. And thankfully we did get a fairly reasonable price for our wieners. And, uh, but we've spent pretty much all that on hay and, and, and just all the day-to-day -day costs. So, you know, making, making money out of music is, <laughs> uh, you know, very, very few people make any sort of real money out of music. Uh, I always say I'm in two industries that keep me broke, cattle and country music, but I, I love both of them. And, uh, and, and I have had to have leaned on the, I've lent on the farm over the years to help me do my music so that I can record music and I can travel and I can, uh, you know, come and play for you all. But, uh, you know, right now, the farm is relying on the music and, and I, just, I just don't know how we can make that happen. Um, it, it, there's going to be no income, no income from this place for the next few years. Now, you know, I, I've got a family to feed. My father lives with us, who's, um, who's suffering from early dementia. Um, you know, I've got two kids that are pretty demanding and cost a lot of money, um, you know, taking them to sports, and I don't want to deny them that. And, uh, you know, I don't want to see my wife go without, and I don't want to see the few remaining cattle that we have kept, which is just some young, some young first-time carvers and some replacement heifers that we're going to try and hang on to, because it might just give us a start to get back into this game, if and when this season breaks. Who knows? But even if it was to rain tomorrow for a month, and all of a sudden we were flush with feed. Um, I've still got to start the, the breeding operation again. I've got to go out and buy a, a bull and, and start that in process. So right from that date of throwing that bull in there, the earliest turnaround I can possibly see from this place would be potentially 18 months from that point when we could sell a calf. But, uh, you know, uh, once the drought breaks, I want everybody to just keep in mind that it's just going to be years and years and years before, before uh, you know, farmers and 
grazers and cockies and, and everybody get back on their feet. And it's not just us blokes, it's not just us blokes that are producing, it's everybody who relies on our industry. It's, it's the food stores, it's the produce stores, it's the contractors, it's the fences, it's the, you know, the blokes who come and plough your paddocks. It's, it's so many people, so many people. It's, uh, I could just rattle it off all day. All the people that are reliant on our industry, not to mention everybody else in this country who relies on us to feed them. So the ripples will be felt everywhere. So look, I, I don't want to ask for charity. I've had, I've had people say, look, what can we do to help? And we're saying, hey, there's people, you know, in worse situations than we are right here. But over time we thought, well, what can we do? We, we are lucky that, that, that I do have the music to fall back on. Not that that's, <laughs> not that that's something, you know, that's, that's, that's a great backup, but it is something that we can fall back on. That, that other people don't have that opportunity to uh, have something else that could maybe be able to generate them income. So for me, it's going to be an idea of selling CDs or, or turning music into hay. I want to sell, I want to do a push on CDs to, uh, to try and get us out of trouble here. You know, this isn't just a sales pitch. This isn't just using our situation here to, um, you know, to, to push some CD sales. This is a genuine, we got to get ourselves out of trouble here. And, and we, we think we can do it with having to go to, to these wonderful people like Drought Angels and Need for Feed and Buy a Bale. And it's great that so many people are, are chipping in for that. It's great that the country's really getting behind this. But for us, we don't want to put our hand out for that. We want to, as I said, see if we can't turn a shed full of CDs into a shed full of hay, like you can see here behind me. We have just managed to um, to uh, get our hands on one of the last bits of hay that we could find in Goulburn. So <laughs> even we're heading towards a situation where even if you have the money, you know, finding the hay is going to be a huge challenge. So we did jump in. We we loaded up the credit card as much as we possibly could, and we bought the last bit of hay that we could find. Uh, as you know, they're trucking it from Tasmania and Western Australia, and. And, and parts of Queensland and uh, look I just I feel for everybody who's who's in this situation that that even if they could afford to buy hay that they're not going to be able to even get it but for us like I said we're going to turn music into hay we're going to turn a shed full of CDs into a shed full of hay if we can and bail ourselves out we'll bail out a farmer there you go there's a new one bail out a farmer bail out a, a busted ass muse and farmer <laughs> but uh, look so what I've done, I had to learn how to set up a, a website store. So I went ahead and did that and I've called it the food store. So what, what you can do is jump on the website at ruarcus.com or we've set up another one called the foodstore.info or foodstore.info. And look, rather than, rather than making a donation, we just, we just think if we can, if we can rather than, feeling like a donation. If you just buy a CD, we're just gonna turn that into hay. You know, we're gonna turn that into looking after our stock, whether it be, um, you know, veterinarian help that we need to give our cattle or whatever it's gonna to take to keep our cattle going, keeping this small herd so that we can get back into the game at some point down the track. And uh, look, if you guys wanted to jump on there and buy a CD, it'd go a long way towards helping us out, that's for sure. So that's what we're doing. Um, don't feel obliged, but if you know if you want to jump on there, and if, like I say, if you've already got the CD, hey, buy it for a Christmas present or give it to a mate or someone, and just uh, tell them what it was about. And like I say, once this is all done and the media hype is over, just 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 remember that you know there's still someone out there doing it tough, and it is going to take years and years for the whole industry, and not just the producers, to uh, to come back from this. And uh, look, it's taken a long time for it to get. The media attention that it deserves and thankfully it has so thanks to everybody who's been just helping out you know all the farmers in general and everybody in this industry and all the truck drivers who are donating their time as well just all the charities thank you very much and like i say if you just wanted to jump on and and uh and help us out by buying a cd it would be very much appreciated and uh yeah look our uh, our cattle and my family and myself would just we'd be forever grateful so yeah so um 
Yeah, thanks very much.